Hi, I'm Robot Man. Let's make a simple car in less than five minutes. The easiest way to build a car is either on a plate or on a frame. Today I'm going to use the blue frame instead of the yellow plate. And we need to attach a couple of motors. You might use medium sized motors or you might use large motors. Today I'm going to use the medium sized motors because they're a little bit easier to build with. I'm going to attach them to my frame and I'm going to use just three little black pins to join the motor onto the frame. Don't feel like you need to fill every hole with pins. Three is enough to hold a motor in place and then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Put three pins in and put the motor facing the outwards, our opposite way. So it's important that both the motors are facing outwards because eventually we're going to stick wheels on those blue circular parts, aren't we? Because they're the parts that spin around. One motor needs to face one way, one motor face, one motor face the other way. They're the wheels we're going to whack on later. Or likewise, you could have used the yellow plate and you could stick your motors onto there somehow, anywhere is fine, as long as they're both facing opposite each other. But back to my one that I've started, you can attach the wheels using one of those uh, grey pieces with the four prongs on it. But I tell you what, that's not a bad way of doing it. Some people like to do that. Some people like just to attach the wheel using little black pieces again. Those little black pieces come in handy. You could use big wheels or little wheels too. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes I like to use the big ones because they go a little bit faster along the ground. We can also attach them just using a yellow axle. And often if I'm in a hurry, I'll just do that. I'll just put a little yellow axle in there and then I'll put the wheel in the middle of the axle like that. And then to secure it, I might use one of those little brushes there to hold it in place. And then I do the same on the other side. So you've got two wheels facing opposite directions, just like a car is, you know, you've got wheels facing out on both sides. But we're only going to use two motors today and two wheels because uh, we'll find out later that it makes it turn better. We're going to attach our hub somehow. So you need to put some little black pieces in the corner of the hub as well. So I start, I usually put four black pieces in the corners and, and then I line it up and try and get it together. But uh, as you'll notice, sometimes it's a bit tricky to line things up if you've already got things in the hole. So you might have to adjust that. Um, I just move them along a little bit so that they will go in the right spots when I flip it over and there's plenty of room and holes for them to go into. It's important to put it on gently. Don't try and put it on too fast. It's good if you can try and get them all in at the same time. It's tricky, but if you try and do one side than the other, it's very difficult. Now we're going to add the uh, pink frame to, so that the uh, ball bearing's got something to sit on easily. Some people say, why don't you use four wheels? Well, four wheels is good, but you won't be able to really turn very easily unless you made a steering mechanism. So I like to put a pink frame on there or something that allows me to attach the ball bearing using one of those H-shaped grey bits again, and then it just clicks in. And so once we plug all our motors in, we're just about done. We've got a simple car in less than five minutes. I plug the motors into ports C and D, and then I like to be able to secure them somehow using those little clips. There's some little clips in your kit, different coloured ones, and you can add uh, any one to each cable. And then you can either join them together or you can actually do what I'm doing here and stick a little blue pin in there and connect it to any hole. So it just gets the cables out of the way so they don't get caught under wheels or tangled with each other. So there's your car. It'll go straight ahead and it will turn and it will be awesome. So if you like the look of this and you want to know how to code it, then click on one of these videos. And if you want to know how to use the sensors, then that's another video as well. So check that out too.